Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. When it comes to Valentine's Day candy, the first thing I think of is chocolate. I know you're shocked. After chocolate, though, my mind turns to conversation hearts. You know, the little candy hearts with phrases like, be mine or pick me. They're a fun tradition, but I always thought that the flavors could use an upgrade, so that's what we're going to do tonight. I found the recipe on the Food Network website, which I've linked to in the description. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own conversation hearts, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one one quarter ounce packet of unflavored gelatin powder, one half cup of water, one tablespoon of light corn syrup, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one eighth tablespoon of salt, two pounds of powdered sugar, plus a little more for kneading, some gel food coloring, some flavor extracts, and some food decorating pens. I made white hearts, meaning no food color, and added peppermint extract, orange with orange extract, pink with strawberry, and blue with raspberry. I also used a mixer, a rolling pin, a bench scraper, some plastic wrap, and a large cutting board. Okay, let's make some candy. Boil the water, then whisk the gelatin, corn syrup, vanilla, salt, and boiling water in a stand mixer bowl until the gelatin dissolves. Using the paddle attachment, beat in the powdered sugar on medium-low speed, a little at a time, to make a dough. Transfer the dough to a cutting board dusted with powdered sugar and knead it until the dough is smooth, pliable, and slightly tacky. Add a little more powdered sugar if needed. Throughout the process, clean the cutting board as needed. Divide the dough into four pieces. Cover three of the pieces with plastic wrap. Add a few drops each of food coloring and extracts to the center of the dough. Fold in the sides, then knead until the color and extract are evenly distributed. If necessary, add more color and extract until you get the color and flavor you want. Roll out the dough until it's one eighth to one quarter of an inch thick. Now, I gotta tell you, this dough was sturdy enough that kneading and rolling it was hard work. I mean, it was 62 degrees here in the candy kitchen and I was breaking a sweat. I finally figured out something that made the rolling easier. You bakers out there may already be aware of this. Part of the reason it was so hard to roll is that it was sticking to the cutting board. I didn't realize that until I used the bench scraper to lift it from the cutting board to turn it. 
After that, it was much easier to finish rolling the dough. So either use some cooking spray on the cutting board or use a bench scraper to loosen it as needed. I wish I'd figured that out sooner. <laughs> Cut hearts out of the dough using the cookie cutter. Repeat with the remaining dough using different colors and extracts. Let the hearts sit at room temperature uncovered until they're dry and hard about 24 hours, flipping them halfway through. Finish up by writing messages on the hearts using food decorating pens. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. I'm gonna try the blue raspberry. Slant va. Nice and crisp, but without that kind of tooth breaking hardness you sometimes get from the store bought ones. Flavor is way better though, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Final opinion, these really did take a lot of work. Probably more effort than I've put into any other treat here on RMC, but if you're looking for a way to make some super fun personalized Valentine treats, you really ought to try these. I made white hearts, meaning no food color, and added peppermint et Nice and crisp, but... 